says to me, Matt, I wish that I would have gotten to be the father that I wanted to be here in this world. But when I'm connecting with him, he tells me throughout his life, he had an up and down battle with his health here in this world. And he says to me, Matt, I was constantly not feeling well. I was constantly sick. I was constantly in pain. Do you understand that? Yeah. And he says to me, a lot of times he hid it. A lot of times he kept that a secret. Yeah. He says, but Matt, he says, the one thing that I have to tell my daughter is that that's the reason why we didn't get to make all the memories that I wanted to. So please know that one of the things is that your father's here when I'm connecting. And I know, first of all, he says to me, Matt, you need to get close to my daughter because this is very hard for her to speak in front of all of these people. So listen, just pretend like it's just me and you right now because your father tells me this. He's been trying to reach you in so many different ways. And first of all, he says to me, Matt, this is so out of my daughter's comfort zone. She would never do something like this. She would never go and speak in front of all these people or come to find me. He says, but today I'm here for her. That's what he tells me. And when I'm connecting with your dad, the one thing that he's telling me from the other side is he says, Matt, I wish, can I have your hand if she tells me I have to yeah. hold your hand? It's all right, I won't steal your money. <laughs> he says to me, Matt, I wish that I would have gotten to be the father that I wanted to be here in this world. But when I'm connecting with him, he tells me throughout his life, he had an up and down battle with his health here in this world. And he says to me, Matt, I was constantly not feeling well. I was constantly sick. I was constantly in pain. Do you understand that? Yeah. And he says to me, a lot of times he hid it. A lot of times he kept that a secret. Yeah. He says, but Matt, he says, the one thing that I have to tell my daughter is that that's the reason why we didn't get to make all the memories that I wanted to. He says that you had to witness so much. And a lot of times you felt that even though your dad was alive, you felt like he didn't get to be there for things within your life. He says to me, Matt, please let her know one thing. Please let her know that I'm sorry for that. He goes, I tried to hide my illness as best I could because I didn't want to let her down. I didn't want to disappoint her. But I also have to let her know in spirit that since I died, he says, I've been able to see everything that has happened with you. And he is so happy about that. You know, what's crazy is, is that he's bringing up his passing, okay? And when I'm connecting, did your family try to hide it from you or not tell you that he was passing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because he tells me that he kept saying, I don't want my daughter to know. I don't want my daughter to know. He was so afraid about taking you away from your life. But he tells me that you found out and you were right there for him. Your dad wants to let you know this. He says, Matt... He says, what I need my daughter to know is that when she was there for me, because he does tell me the hardest part with his passing was the fact that at the end of his life, I keep feeling there were issues with his legs before his passing. Yeah. He talks about not being able to get up. He talks about being dizzy. He talks about being all these things. Yeah, he needed knee replacements that okay. he wouldn't go get. <laughs> so know that what your dad tells me is this, is that here in this world, you had so many opportunities to spend with him before his passing. He says, and that's what I like to remember. He says, Matt, I gotta tell my daughter, he says, the one thing that I was so afraid of is I was afraid of being in the hospital. He says, I was afraid of not making it back to my house. And I was afraid, he says, of having to live life on different medical devices here in this world. He says, and if that's the way that I had to live, I just as soon pass away. That's what he tells me. Yeah. He says, so at the end of my life, he says, I had been through it all. And what he wants to let you know is this. He says, the one thing that kept him fighting was you. And you need to know that. He says to me, so as hard as it is, and as much as you miss your dad, this is his way of letting you know from the other side that he is with you. He is safe and at peace. And this is just validation that his soul is always by your side. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. Can I give you a hug? I really hope this helps you. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. And thank you for coming here. Because your father goes, Matt, I would never believe, he goes, that my daughter would come to something like this. That's what he tells me. Because you came from Newport, Rhode Island? Well, thank you so much for that. And thank you for buying the expensive seats, by the way.